Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cryptonardo and today we're going to take a look at a project called NEO, which is an open source community driven blockchain platform. So let's just get straight into it. On the top, we have all the tabs. We have Discover NEO in here with NEO Defined, NEO Technology, NEO and Gas, and Contributors. We're going to go through all of them in a minute. We also have Covenants, Developer, Eco Support, News, and we can switch between English and Chinese. So here we are. N3, Early Bird Migration, is now open. So what is the N3 migration? The token migration is a critical milestone for the new N3 launch. Generally speaking, migration involves creating a new address on Neo N3 and sending your Neo legacy tokens to a migration contract. The contract will then release Neo N3 tokens to your new Neo N3 address at a 1 to 1 ratio. There's also a thing called early bird migration which I'm going to which we're going to look at later, but it basically Users are able to start migrating the NEO and gas tokens from NEO Legacy to NEO N3 from August the 9th. NEO token holders are also able to start participating in governance to earn gas rewards. And one word about the mass migration. So the token migration incentive program will run from the September 1st till October 31st. Offering bonus NEO tokens to users who migrate during this period. Rewards will start at 1% and decrease over the 8th period week. This is really, really nice. But let's have a look. Find out more about your migration options so you can learn more in here. First, uh, we have a roadmap in here. So the first step was the formal testnet, which uh, is started in July 20th. Then it was the mainnet, uh, which started on August 2nd. The early bird migration is here, August 9, and in September, September 1st, there will be the mass migration coming up. We have some latest news in here. There's also a little tab in here where you can just migrate to N3 from here. As we can see, we're on the migration page, so Neo and Gas migration, Neo Legacy to Neo N3. We have the website, wallet, and exchange as well as some, as some quick links in here, key dates, and why do you need to migrate your tokens. So, Neo Legacy is updating, uh, sorry, upgrading to Neo N3, an all new version of the Neo protocol. N3 improves on previous versions by offering an improved development experience. It boasts with most powerful and compete features, a highly modular architecture and an enhanced governance and economic model. It offers everything the hobbyist developer needs to, buy, to build their first dApp through um, to the power and scalability demand by enterprise applications. Due to an extent of improvements found in version N3, certain features are not backwards compatible with the existing Neo Legacy blockchain. This means that Neo N3 upgrade will be implemented through a new Genesis block. The Neo blockchain running N3 will coexist along the current Neo legacy, the blockchain for an extended period of time. This will provide users with ample opportunity to migrate their tokens and applications to the new chain. We have another roadmap in here. So June 2014, um, is founded. October 2016, Anshis mainnet launched. Uh, June 2017, Anshis rebrand to NEO, smart contracts 2.0 released. June 2018, N3 project upgrade begins. And here we have August 2021, which is now N3 mainnet launching early bird migration begins September 2021. So soon, NEO legacy to NEO N3 mass migration on September 1st. And in the future, the gas generation on Leo, NEO legacy stops. So here we have some uh, questions answered, like how to migrate your tokens and whatnot. But we can just continue through the main page. So it's all in one, all in NEO. Interoperability, native oracles, self-sovereign ID, decentralized storage, NEO name service, 
one block finality, best in class tooling, smart contract, and multi language. You can take a tour in here if you like. So new is new again. After four years of stable mainnet operation, Neo is undergoing its biggest evolution as it migrates to N3, the most powerful and feature rich version of the Neo blockchain to date. There's a learn more button in here. So, first, you have to find a wallet, Neo and gas tokens, features, and documentation. So, you have everything in here. So, building blocks for the next generation internet. Neo provides a full stack of features out of the box but doesn't keep you boxed in. Native functionality provides all the infrastructure you need to build a complete decentralized application, while advanced interoperability allows you to harness, uh, harness the power of the global blockchain ecosystem. It's really nice that they have a learn button under basically every single tab that we're going through. So going further, we have one block finality. DBFT consensus mechanism guarantees fast and efficient finality for the single block oracle, a built-in oracle enabling secured access to any off-chain data. NeoFS, a distributed data storage solution made for scalability and privacy. Smart contracts, write your smart contracts in Chash, Go, Python, Java, or TypeScript. Neo name service is a decentralized .neo domain name service for next-gen internet web applications. Uh, the interoperability, so Poly Network, enables cross-chain interoperability with Ethereum, Binance Chain, and more. Neo ID is a set of self-sovereign decentralized identity solution standards. Blockchain Uno writes smart contracts in a language you already love. So as mentioned, we have five different a programming language to choose from when writing your contract. We have Python, C hash, Go, TypeScript, and Java. There's also dual tokens, so Neo has a unique dual token model that separates governance from utility. As we can see, we have both the Neo token and the gas token. We have a little calculator in here, so a user with, say, yeah, 500 Neo tokens would receive up to 0.44 gas per month just for holding the NEO token, plus 17.52 gas per month for governance participation. That makes it basically 18 tokens per month for free. This is really, really nice. So NEO token holders are the owners of the network and are able to participate in governance. NEO holders also receive passive distribution of the utility network utility token, gas, no stacking required. The gas reward are increased for voting participation. Gas is used to pay for network fees, smart contract deployments, and in the app purchases. And as we can see, the more gas we have, the more, um, sorry, the, the more Neo coins we have, the more gas we're gonna get per month. So it, with 1,000 Neo, it increased to um, 36 tokens per month. You can also find a wallet in here, or again, learn more with that button here. Um, the on-chain governance, so a dynamic on-chain council voted in by the NEO token holders. And three introduces the ability for NEO holders to vote and council members and consensus notes that maintain the liveness of the NEO network and adjust critical blockchain parameters. Gas rewards are distributed to both voters and committee members. This is really nice, basically like a democracy about the project. So here we have some more um, links, like the general guide to governance, how to vote, register as a committee candidate. And after that, we have the global contributors. So NEO, of course, is a joint, joint effort by community groups from all over the world. There are 3.2 thousand stars, 927 forks, and 386 subscribers at the repository at GitHub. Here we have a world map, so we can see it actually is a project from all over the world. We have, of course, the United States, we have Brazil, we have Spain, uh, Switzerland, Russia, China. So honestly, they have a community from many, many places of the world. So just going back to the council, so the NEO council um, or the NEO governance model, 
Oh, there it is. Uh, one of the most prominent changes in NEO N3 is an entirely revamped governance model, which will push NEO towards a more decentralized future. So from August 9th, um, NEO holders that migrated their tokens into NEO N3 can start participating in governance. On NEO N3, NEO holders have the right to elect 21 members NEO Council to manage the NEO blockchain. The NEO Council will, co will consist of council members and consensus nodes who provide services, maintain the network and adjust critical blockchain parameters. So NEO holders are rewarded with the gas tokens for successfully voting for a council member. Anyone is free to register as a council candidate. This is an important step going towards NEO's goal of decentralization. And it also is really nice because you have actually a real influence on the change, how the project evolves and grows. The, there is also one thing I would like to talk with you about is the Neo Frontier uh, Launchpad, the hackathon, which hasn't been mentioned on the website. So two months ago, um, there's been a call for uh, trailblazers who were up to the challenge of being among the first to build applications using N3. More than 670 developers signed up to answer that call. Follow-up participants submitted 60 plans and 58 projects during the competition, these D apps used many of N3's features, uh, new features actually, such as native oracles and Neo FS demonstrating functionality that was never before possible on a single chain. And going back to the top, actually, the Neo Eco support. So Neo has um, initiated a number of support tracks to grow the Neo ecosystem offering various types of assistance depending on your project's needs, interests, and maturity. Options are available for grassroots developers, startup projects, established businesses, institutions, and everything in between. So as you can see, it is a great project, especially that it can make new projects pop up really, really soon. It makes it really easier for them. And on top of that, I really love all the references to The Matrix. Uh, of course, it's a really great movie, a classic of cinema. But there we are. We have reached the end of the video, and that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Leave a like, check the comments, check all the links provided, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.